video. Great audio. You know, they, they sent me a battery there last week to uh, check out. And, uh, so now I'm doing a little follow up. The batteries, they, uh, I'm impressed enough that I went ahead and got three more batteries that I'm going to go ahead and change out all the batteries in my little solar system on my household. And replace them with these uh, radios. You know, I like the fact that they are uh, Bluetooth and that where my batteries are located at, uh, I can't get to them to check them. But the, the Bluetooth is definitely going to help them out. So when I uh, got done, I ran my, my system on the batteries that I have now in my solar. You know, with the air conditioning on standby and the refrigerator running all night. And it ran them down to I think 87.2% uh, on, I'm not sure, but I have a, a little video clip of where it's at. I'm gonna, I'll put that up here right after this. This is where my battery is at uh, after running all that long with the refrigerator and everything. That 87.2%. Uh, I'll show you where I'm at with that. And after I get these batteries all the way fully charged, and tonight I'm going to go ahead and do the same scenario of the air conditioning being on standby. and run the refrigerator all night long and check it back tomorrow morning at the exact same time I checked this morning to compare it to. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you where my batteries are located at and get you uh, taking them out of and replacing everything. It's going to be a pretty good little job, but I think it's going to be worth doing. Or under the stove, in this compartment down here, there's three of them in there, and I have one in the cabinet in there. And I'm hoping that uh, with the battery being a little bit smaller, and I'll be able to put all four of them under the stove, and we have them all located in one spot. Let me get to uh, yanking the stove out and tearing everything down and get to those batteries. Yo, you gonna be mad at me this morning. Cause uh, I told I was coming to do some work like this morning. I didn't tell I was coming to do some fishing too. Uh, we gonna call that a nice one. Let's right, see what we got. Okay. Oh yeah. Real nice. Real, real nice. Out the way, Tucker. Out the way, Tucker. No, move, move. No, Tucker. No, Tucker, move. Go. Let's see what we got. Okay. You going be mad. And I'm gonna tease her and tease her and tease her. Look pretty good too. There you go. All right. We'll put him in a basket just to prove that you're caught a fish. Oh, little bees on them. Damn, biting my things. He was big enough for the hole. He get the hook in his mouth. Got a net time, though. Got a net time. All right, guys. We don't know. We got to the three of the batteries and a power inverter. And a constable. boat. So we gotta pull that inverter out and the constable boat out and get to that shelf that's on the uh, that's right above the batteries and get that out. Then we gotta disconnect all the battery leads, pull those out. Then we uh, should be ready to go back in with the new batteries. So, 
Hey guys, just to give you a comparison in our batteries, this is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour uh, lifeful battery that I had in it before. This is what I'm replacing it with. You can see. That uh, my original battery really dwarfed this battery, and I think I'm going to get more performance. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get more performance out of this radio, red audio battery than I was out of them, uh, them other, other batteries. That's a, uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good size difference there. And uh, the width. This is the same, maybe a little bit narrow. Looks like it's even narrow. The height's about the same, but uh, we're gonna get the rest of the other batteries pulled out. And as soon as uh, the battery right there is finished charging, we're gonna hook everything back right. up. Got uh, all four of those batteries in there. I got room for even one more. Four, three batteries fit in there real tight, so I can put five in that now. We're only gonna put four. All that connected up. You still gotta uh, throw a, a inverter back in there, put the shelf back for that, connect that up, and put everything, the stove and all the other pieces back in, and we'd be done. But uh, I got all four of these Red Oreos uh, batteries in place. Right now we got, they've been sitting there for a little over 12 hours making friends with each another. But we're going to let them sit a little longer. Make sure everything equals out between all the, all the batteries and all the BMSs are talking to each other. And uh, then we're going to put it to the test. See how well she does. But for now we're going to leave everything open up. Make sure everything's right with it. And I get to put all this mess back where it goes. Poor Captain G1. System all charged up to 100%. Right now we got the refrigerator running. And we got the solar panel keeping up with that. Hey guys, what I did, what I let the, the system run uh, about 30 minutes longer than what I did the, uh, on the initial test with the old battery setup. And what I got right now, according to my gauges, I'm at, as you can see, 84.2%, 80, which is less than 87.2% uh, that I have on original batteries, but the uh, difference is, one of the batteries uh, didn't even turn off, so I'm just that's 84 percent left off of that ran off of three batteries. So I would say that this system is doing much, much better than the, than the other other batteries. And uh, I guess I need to double check, make sure I got that fourth battery turned on. It might not even be turned on right now because yeah, old cages they kind of slow learning with stuff. Well, anyhow, guys, I'm gonna put a um, a link in the in the description to for these batteries, and if y'all y'all interested in a, a good deal, put in the uh, there's gonna be a code also called BC. Just put in the discount code box if you decide to buy one of these batteries. It's discount code BC as in a uh, big Cajun, and then and the link is also gonna be right there above it. Well, guys, uh, I think that these batteries are going to do me great. It's uh, real nice that I can check them with the Bluetooth on the phone. I'm not second guessing if uh, if all my batteries are working or not, which I was with the uh, with the other batteries. I wasn't sure if I had a battery that was bad or anything like that. But now I can know just by open up the phone, clicking the app, and Telling me everything I need to know about the batteries.
And another plus side to it is that uh, winter's coming, and they, uh, from what I understand, that uh, when you get to below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and you got the, the charger connected to them, it's not good for the batteries. But with this system, you can do you can turn the batteries off where they're not getting hurt from the uh, from the freezing weather. Or you know when we're not out there, which is you know it's a good plus because I had have had a, uh, a lithium battery that uh, destroyed itself from 10 degree weather already before. Like I say, I'm happy with them. And if you're interested. Discount code BC, as in Big Cajun, and there's a link right there by. Just click on the link and take me later.